What's up guys, Justice here, and I'm going to be showing you a extremely helpful tutorial when it comes to editing and using Twixter, because I've noticed in a lot of videos that the Twixter sometimes will skip and it just looks terrible because it'll stop and then it'll Twixter, then it'll stop and then it'll Twixter, and it just does that a lot. So here's a tutorial on how to fix that. So, okay. My Vegas, I mean After Effects would hurry up and load. Alright, so you're editing your little clip. It's a sick, sick triple. And you go, you're about to, you're gonna do some Twixter when he zooms in. It's gonna look sick like that. And, okay, I'm just making sure that that was 50 frames per second. And 60 frames, excuse me. Then you add your Twixter, have your preset settings looking all sick and stuff. Then put your slow mo in. And sorry, it's going to look terrible because I'm recording and it's going to be a little. It's probably going to go to half. Yeah, okay. So you see it's not moving, and then it starts moving, then it stops, and it starts again. I've noticed that in a lot of videos and it just looks awful. So, um, What you want to do is you're going to have to have Vegas for this. So I'm pretty sure you have to have Vegas. But you import that same clip into Vegas. And see right here is where the problem lies. Oh wait, you're going to have to disable resample too. You should do that in every single clip please because sucks for editors when you don't um, but what you want to do or actually where the problem lies is you see how in every single frame that I go some of them are the same like every other frame is the same thing showing so that's that's what the problem is I don't know why that does it because I'm pretty sure it's it lies in the recording like um, what is it, Total Media Extreme? Because I don't record, so I don't know how exactly, um, I don't know where exactly it goes wrong, but yeah, every other frame, it's it's showing something different. So, um, what you want to do is, where you want to start the Twixter, which would be around right here, you would split the clip, then go forward a frame, then shorten the clip. I don't, I don't, it's not... It's not slowing it or speeding it, but just shortening it. Then you move it over, split the clip again, do the same thing repetitively until you're about done with whatever you're trying to twist it. So normally you would stop around right there before you actually start the clip again. So yeah, around right there. Then you render it out and here are my render settings these are the best render settings that you can possibly use for everything <laughs> so AVI this is for when you're importing something into After Effects and just copy down these settings and obviously project is going to be best and whatever this is whatever and kinda going to go off but mp4 for when you're sending this to an editor please use these settings please so gonna make this 59.94 and all this should be the way this is and I don't know why um, it's actually supposed to be 2 million make sure it's a 2 pass render and all this is this way, yeah. So all this should be like this, then same thing right here. And when you're about to upload to YouTube, this is just a bit of information. You're gonna want to make it 29.97 because YouTube automatically shortens it, and I'm probably gonna run over it a little bit. I'm I'm going I'm going like off of the tutorial a little bit, but this is just to help you guys out. All this should be like this, yeah, for when you're rendering to YouTube. But, yep, after you've rendered that in AVI, because <clears throat> you're importing it into After Effects, you render that, then you put it, <clears throat> import it into After Effects, and I already have it already rendered out because my 
After Effects crash for some reason. <clears throat> and you're going to want to move this over to where the Twixer is about to start. And hold on. Delete the Twixer on this clip. Yeah, that's why it was all the way over there. Hold on, excuse me a second. <laughs> Gosh. All right, so you're gonna want to put this wherever, wherever you want the Twixter to start. You want to match it up perfectly so it looks right. I think it's around right there, so it's the same clip. Okay, see that's right about there, and. It's probably going to be a different, yeah, it's a different shade, but you can just fix that with like a color correction or something. But you split this clip by going split layer, then drag that down. And for however long you want to twixter, you're going to want to twixter this clip because then it's not going to skip. So put in your super sick settings, go over frame or however many frames you go over and enable time remapping and drag out the clip a little bit alright so now as you can see it's not going to skip at all it's just gonna okay this is where the twixter stops so I'm gonna need to I mean, this is where the clip ends because I didn't dry, um I didn't go long enough in Vegas. If I would have went more over here, then it wouldn't have stopped so soon. But you know, whatever for tutorial sake. So see, it's not skipping anymore. It's just right. Okay. So then after that. Okay, see, it looks all good. Now, what you want to do is just after you've rendered or after you've fixed the Twixter problem, just you know, put your amazing color correction on there or whatever. I'm not going to do that actually. And then just render it out and then it should be fine or whatever. So, yep. So make sure you subscribe and comment because my channel's not really getting too much better. But yep, yeah, thanks. Peace.